Hey everyone, Setsuko here. If you're new, hit the subscribe button for great World of Warcraft guides and tools here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be creating a health bar in Weak Auras. If you haven't seen my beginner's guide to Weak Auras video and you need a basic understanding of Weak Auras, I encourage you to check that out. I'm going to assume that you have seen that video uh, as we go into this one. Now, keep in mind with these Weak Auras videos, uh, in each video, I'm going to be addressing the core of each of the things that we are creating. So, for example, I may not go over every single detail of the display aspects of Weak Auras because I'll cover each of those aspects in a different video. So for this one, we're going to be setting up the proper information for a health bar in Weak Auras and also going over the most important things that we're going to want to adjust in the display. So to get started, we're going to type slash WA in the chat to pull up our weak auras. And in here, you can either use a template or just use an advanced progress bar. That's what we're going to want for our health bar. So we're going to select that and we need to give it a name. I'm going to name it test HP. You can name it whatever you want. Just keep in mind that within weak auras, all of your auras have to have their own unique name. So let's drag this out over here so we can kind of see it. Now, the first thing we want to do is get the proper amount uh, or the proper information in here. As you can see, this is definitely not correct. So we're going to want to go into our trigger tab. And in here, we're just going to have a single trigger for this. And we're going to want to change the type to status. And then it's going to default to health player, which is what we actually want for creating a player health bar. Uh, but you can also go in here and create health bars for like the boss or for your party, your pets, etc. If you want to make more health bars within weak auras in here, you may want to check show absorbs or show incoming heals. If you do show absorbs, it will add information into the weak auras showing any shields that you have. And if you do show incoming heal, it will show those on your health bar as well. It does the majority of this automatically and you can make some adjustments to how this information will display. But for a basic uh, health bar, you can either leave these unchecked or just check them and use them in their default behavior. And that's pretty much it for the trigger tab. That's all we really need to do. And if we go back to the display tab, now we can make a couple of adjustments. Now, I recommend when you're in the display tab that you go ahead and collapse everything using these little arrows so that you just have a lot less staring you in the face and it's a lot less overwhelming. Uh, once we're in here, if you click on the progress bar settings, there's going to be a couple of things that we're going to want to do in here. So the first one is we're going to want to pick our bar texture and you're going to do this with like all your weak auras. And this is going to set the overall just kind of like theme. If you look, there's sort of a glossy texture here on this bar, which is the blizzard default, or I could do this charcoal looking one, or I could do like a flat one in here. You're going to have some default blizzard textures as well as some that are included in weak auras, but you'll also probably see some textures in here that are from other add-ons that you're using. For example, I use Kaliel's tracker for my quest log and in the bar textures, I can choose KT flat as my texture, which is actually the one that I use. But just keep in mind, if you ever log in and your weak ours look really weird after you've gotten rid of some add-ons that maybe you weren't using anymore, chances are you were using a bar texture that was included with one of those add-ons. So go ahead and pick your bar texture. Then we need to go to orientation. So orientation is going to set the direction that the bar empties. So right to left means that as you take damage, the bar will empty from the right side to the left side. And when it fully hits the left side, you will be out of health. So to show that off, if I go right to left and I go up to this tanking dummy, this is going to empty exactly the way we would expect it to. Like a standard health bar. So you can change this orientation. And one of the most common reasons you might want to do that 
is because maybe you are wanting to create a vertical health bar instead of a horizontal one. And in that case, you might want to change the orientation to top to bottom so that the bar will empty from the top to the bottom. And when it hits the bottom, you're out of health. So that's the most common example. But obviously, if you want one of the other ones for whatever reason, uh, that's how you can understand what orientation means. The bar will empty from right to left. So we're going to keep this at a, a typical horizontal style. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to click smooth progress. So this animates the progress changes for our bar. So if you notice when I was taking damage, it was going chunk, chunk, chunk. If we click smooth progress, then that chunk is actually going to be a smooth animation. So take a look at this. It kind of scrolls over instead of coming off in big chunks. That's just going to make the animations for your health bars uh, look a little bit nicer. After that, we're going to want to change the bar color. And you can either go in here and pick the specific color that you want. I use an add-on called Color Picker Plus, which gives me all this fancy extra info in here so I can paste in a hex code or an alpha code. Uh, I also, because of Color Picker Plus, have access to some palettes such as the class colors. This makes it super easy to, say, put in the warrior color uh, for all my different bars without having to like paste in the code or look it up or anything. Fantastic feature. So we're going to do that. And that will color our bar. The background color will actually color this section back here. So right now it's black. If I click on this, I could change it to red or I could change it to blue or green. And then the bar over here will adjust how solid that color is. Uh, so if you want to, you can tweak that as well. I'm going to leave it at the default black as I tend to like that. You could also choose to show a spark. That's going to put a little glow at the end of your actual health. And it's just like an extra visual aid to help you track where your health is at. If you click on this little folder icon here, then you get some of the graphics available in Weak Auras. And if you click the drop down, you can go to Sparks. And there are some other options in there, like a purple one or a blue one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, outside of that, we're going to want to jump down into our position settings. And this is where you can manually set uh, your size for your bars. Now, you can hover over the bars and there'll be a little yellow line. And that will let you adjust this way if you want to. So you can kind of get it roughly to the shape that you want it to be. Or you can go in and type in the exact stuff that you want. So say we wanted 300 width and 50 height. We could put that in there and we are good to go. Also, X offset will let you control the position of the bar horizontally and Y will let you control it vertically. Next in text one, this is going to be the text on the left side of the bar. You can get rid of this. You can just uncheck show text if you don't want to show anything there. You can change the color and you could change what actually displays. The most common choices for health bars are to show the number and to show the character name. You can get into some more advanced display text from there, but that'll be covered in a different video. For right now, we're just going to stick with the health number, which is percent %P, and we're going to stick with the character name, which is percent %N. Now, maybe we want to swap these. I like to have my character name on the left, so I'm going to change this to percent %N. Then I'm going to go into text two, which is the one on the right. I'm going to change that to percent P. And then within here, let's say I want to set the size to 16 instead and make it a little bit bigger. So I can do that for both of these. Okay. In here, you can go under the format options. That was where you can adjust the size and you can also adjust the fonts. Keep in mind that you may have a font in here that is from an add-on, just like you have a texture that's from an add-on. Under font flags, you can do things like set a outline for the font. You could set a shadow, a drop shadow for the font and all that kind of stuff. 
And then under anchors, this is where you can go in and you can change the anchor. And let's say we wanted our name to be in the center. That's how we could put that in the center. Or we could put it in the top left, the top right, et cetera, et cetera. So this is how you can get your text to, like if you wanted your name and number to line up, you could do that here. And your offsets will make adjustments to that within the frame itself. So all your fancy font positionings are in here. And that's really all there is to it for creating a health bar. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to set that back to left. So now you should be able to create your own health bar, your own basic health bar in weak auras. In addition to that, I'll be providing links to my health bars, uh, which you can use. And really all you have to do for my health bars, if you want to make adjustments, they look like this, is you can go in and you can either go to text two, and you could change this value to percent in if you want the actual health number instead of the percentage. And then you'll want to go into your progress bar settings and adjust the bar color to, let's say if you were going to be on a hunter class, you would change that over to your hunter color, or if you have a specific color for your UI, you could tweak that as well. Uh, pretty simple and pretty straightforward. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope this has helped you uh, learn how to make your own health bar in weak auras and kind of highlight some of the most important adjustments that you can make to the display and the information that's provided. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And uh, I appreciate all of you watching. Appreciate you being here. Hope you're having fun in Shadowlands. And I'll see you on the next video.